This is the SketchUp interface. Let's go over its features. These are the axes and you should model parallel to them. For instance, when I click on the pencil tool and draw, you can see that line is red, meaning it's parallel to the axes. If it's black, it means it's not parallel to any axes. Now I'm parallel to the green axes, parallel to the red again, and these inference circles tell me that the red line is as long as this first line I drew. Now I've just drawn a face, which is a plane, and it's bounded by these edges. If I click on it with the Select tool, I've highlighted it. And if I right click, I'll bring up a context menu. If I click on an edge to highlight it, I'll get a different context menu. Here I'm clicking on the push pull tool and pulling it up. I'm going to click on select to get out of push pull. And this scale figure here gives me an idea of how large the model is. I'm holding the scroll wheel of the mouse down, that is the middle mouse button, to orbit around the model, and I'm scrolling the wheel up and down to zoom in and out. If I hold the middle mouse button and the shift key down together, I can pan, that is slide around the work plane. Notice all these menus. The default menu is the Getting Started menu. If I right click, here it is. And I turned on all the others by checking their boxes. I can also go to View Toolbars and see all the toolbars and turn them on and off here. These are trays of more options and functions and tools. Note the instructor box. It gives you a tutorial when you click on each tool. Close them by just clicking the arrows. You can close any of these by clicking the X and go back to Window, Manage Trays, default tray and turn them back on. You can collapse this whole panel of trays and hover over this tab and click the thumbtack to tack it in place again. And that's an overview of the interface.